Hello everybody, my name is Cottage PK. I am a commentator, and I'm commentating on Battlefield 3, Close Quarters DLC. And the reason I have it is because I am a premium member, and I get it three weeks early. If you don't have premium and you're on not on the PS3, or I get it two weeks early, or I believe it's I believe that's how it works. I'm not exactly sure, but anyway, but I get it earlier because I'm on the PS3. Um, so uh, I am playing um, Gun Master, which is like gun game in Call of Duty. On Donia Fortress, this map is not my favorite, but that does that do, don't let me discourage you from, you know, not from liking this map because it's a good map. But from the from the DLC, my favorites are Scrapyard, Scrap Metal, sorry, Scrap Metal, and Zeba Tower, Zeba Tower. I don't exactly know how to pronounce that. Anyway, but those are my favorite, and those really really shine. Um, they're very good maps. Anyway. But let's talk about this and the Gun Master game mode. Um, the Gun Master game mode is similar to Gun Game in Call of Duty. You rank up, but the thing is, you have teammates, but you're not working together. Your teammates, I think it's more of a challenge because your teammates will be taking your kills, and you'll get really frustrated when you get that 99 kill assist with suppressive fire kill assist and you're like god damn it I deserve that kill uh, you know they should fix that maybe uh, or maybe make it so like six kill assists is maybe a kill because that would that, that would really fix this game with a lot um, anyway so um, you rank up with the guns you go from pistol to you know shotgun to then full automatic gun then sniper rifle launcher and knife and so you have to get two kills per gun unless it's the launcher or the knife um, and regarding the launcher it is very hard to get a kill with because it doesn't explode on impact instead it ex it sh shoots out a live grenade that cooks for a little and then explodes so it's good if you're defending somewhere and you know enemies are going to come from a certain corridor so you so you'd fire off that uh, that grenade and as they walk in they would get blown up but, um, anyway, so, uh, the only problem I have, uh, with the guns in Gun Master is the, um, jackhammer with frag. Honestly, that gun is a piece of crap. It's so, t so terrible. So very terrible. It's just, oof. it is beyond terrible, okay? It's almost impossible to get a kill with. Um, give me anything but frag is what I'm trying to say. Alright? Just take off frag. I, I, I just... God, it's so terrible. I can't even emphasize how terrible that gun is. Um, so. You rank up, yada yada. You get the kill, you get... And then you go for the knife kill. You get the knife kill, you get the nice pair of dog tags. And you can knife people to rank them down. I think it's, I think it's by a rank. I'm not sure if it's by a rank or a kill. Um, uh, but anyways, it's, it's a good game mode, I, th I enjoy it, and when you, if you win, or when you win, you feel great, because you beat your, your own team, and you beat the enemy team. Um, but, you know, uh, with this map, it, it shows, uh, aspects from two of the other maps in the DLC, uh, Zeba Tower and... Uh, Operation 925. The it has it, it has an underground tunnel area like the Operation 925. Uh, uh, sort of it has an underground parking lot sort of thing where it's like tunnels, and really the parking lot and the underground tunnels are like the safe zone. It's like there's not many there's not much action going on there because there, it's quite it's quite the construct it's it's like it's not as easily destructible as other parts of the map, so people tend not to go there because it's some somewhat harder to get kills. Um, so those are the safe zones. Then there is um, from Zeba Tower. It has a courtyard area similar to uh, well, Donia Fortress has a courtyard area similar to Zeba Tower, and it also has uh, a mixture between the uh, ground ground level of Operation 925 
Um, it's not as big, but it has similarities to both uh, maps. And finally, the upstairs and the buildings are very similar to the Ziba Tower. Not in sort of building-wise, but it's similar to... Uh, what's the word? It's, it's similar in sort of the way it works, I guess. Anyway, so this, this gun is the worst gun in the world. It's so hard to get kills with. It's beyond hard. I mean, honestly, please just do something with the dice. Don't put frag on it. Anything but frag. Just, please. And, uh, anyway. Let's see. I was going on and I was talking. I'm drawing a bit of a blank. But, um, you know, good maps. I really enjoy the DLC. I enjoy the guns. The maps themselves, um, they shine. But two shine more than the other two. Uh, Donya Fortress and uh, uh, Operation 925 aren't as good as Zeba Tower and Scrap Metal. Scrap Yard? Scrap, I think it's Scrap Metal. But that doesn't mean that Donya Fortress and Ni Operation 925 aren't good. Because they're good maps, but Zeba Tower and... Um, scrap metal are like really good. They're my favorite maps of this DLC, and they work very well with the guns. Um, yeah, and so, um, they uh, it also works well with the game modes. The fast capturing for uh, domination is it works very well because it's a close quarters map. But uh, regarding the Danya Fortress map, this area that I'm currently in. Is the area where all the action happens. N not, there's some action everywhere, uh, other places, but this area just takes all the action and puts it into one little room. And it's very good. And uh, uh, if you want to get kills and you want to succeed, you want to be able to scope out the area, tell where your enemies are, um, and use your teammates to your advantage because if they they're firing somebody, you're going to be firing at that same person. And you're going to use their bullets to help impact your bullets and try getting the kill. So, that's what I have to say about Donnie Fortress and the Gunmaster game mode. Now, we're going to move on to the other maps. The Zebra Tower, great map, phenomenal. Uh, favorite map of the DLC. And the reason being is because it's, it's very well uh, built and you, there's not necessarily camping. Because the the um, the all the walls and everything are basically breakable because it's thin material and it's really easy to break. Honestly, uh, there's no there's not that much camping and uh, and there's no um, shotgun abusing. So it's really it works very well. And I'm glad to see that uh, people aren't abusing shotguns, if there's a possible way to abuse shotguns, uh, which there kind of is, but it's not it's not that easy to abuse. But I'm glad to see that players are actually, you know, sort of, you know, not using the cheap tactic. Um, but you know, uh, now we'll move on to Operation Nine Two Five. Operation Nine Two Five is broken down into three parts three parts okay one is the uh, top little area that you can walk on the other is the ground floor and the third area is the parking lot now the parking lot I told you before that's the safe zone nobody goes there because it's well built and there's not much destructibility therefore it's not as easy as to get kills um, then there is the uh, ground floor which is the craziest hell place because if you go to the if you defend the area where there's a entrance there's two entrances to the parking lot um, if you defend that area the enemy will spawn on the other side where the office is and you can take them out easily because the office is bit, is all destructible um, there's no safe place in the office area so if you defend that if you hold that one point then you're guaranteed to get a lot of kills and win the match regardless of what game mode it is. So you want to you keep your enemies down to one area 
and that would be the um, office spawn which leads to the cafe sort of place if you and if you can hold the other side of that um, you're guaranteed the win and then there's the top floor which isn't very active it's sort of like in order to scope out the area you go there and it gives you just an overview of where the enemies are and um, it only covers one side which is the spawn where the office is then there is the and then there's the map, uh, Scrap Metal. Scrap Metal, great map. Works phenomenally well. And it's one of my favorite maps, as I said before. But the way it works is it's rooftop fights. Um, it can be close quarters or it can be across the rooftops. But you want to be able to hold both rooftops or at least one rooftop. Uh, which means you hold that one building. So you want to be you want to be shooting across and destroying all the enemies because there's only one sp there's only like two areas to spawn in and those are the two different buildings so if you control one rooftop and uh prefer or preferably the rooftop that overlooks the um usable it's so, the way they described it was the there's a usable area it looks like there's a usable area and then there's the factory that's kind of shut down area and so the way it works is that if you go to the fa uh, the factory that shut down area that one will have the rooftop that overlooks the usable area um, and you keep it you keep it in that uh, you c if you hold that rooftop you can get a good overlook of the enemy rooftop and so and so by holding the rooftop you're able to dominate the uh, map or mode and you know win regardless so scrap metal is really just the you know um the the rooftop rooftop battle and very few at very few times you'll have the inside building battle but in gun game that's it reverses um it's more like that one rooftop that overlooks the other rooftop uh that one is the one that's maintained and uh, all the battles are uh, in that building and it's 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 frustrating because sometimes some of the guns really really work terribly in that map uh, with the gun uh, master but um, in conquest domination is it's it really works very well and the map is great so that was the overview of the uh, close quarters DLC and so you know let's go on to tips so the tips that I have today um, are the sniper rifle for the uh, for gun master when you use it you can hit fire uh, but be prepared to only do it at very close range like other like many other sniper rifles it works at close range when you hit fire but uh, yeah so other tips I have are the are on the uh, new weapons the ACR and the AUG primarily because so far that's the those are the only two I've been able to unlock I'm unlocking the other ones but you know I just got it yesterday I'm not gonna you know overdo it so anyway the Oh, I also unlocked the MP or uh, the M5K. Um, but anyway, the ACR, good gun, stable, and if you're able to, um, if you're able to unlock the stuff, if you're able to unlock at least a sight, you can use that gun great, perfectly. It works very well with a sight because the iron sight is kind of you know squished up, and it's harder to see through it. Um, so sometimes it might be hard to get a kill, but it works good aimed in. And it, it it can sometimes work good when you just uh, um just hip fire. So uh, the AUG is a very uh, mid range to long range gun. It's not for close quarters per se. Um, which is a shocker because you know it's in the close quarters DLC. But anyway, it's not the best close quarters. It's for something like uh, scrap yard, a uh, scrap metal. Sorry, I get. That confused all the time. Um, scrap metal or Zeba Tower from the across to cross or the 
um, the across across or the uh, you know rooftop gameplay and that's when it works and it's really stable at those um, but it does not have a ph phenomenal hip fire and uh, it can work even with the iron sight which is good because guns with a good iron sight are good guns um, and the MP uh, M5K because my brother keeps correcting me on that because it says M5 M5K in the gun menu well that gun short mag but very stable uh, perfect for close range and that's really all it's good for um, team deathmatch and the close quarters maps is what it, it's for and that's all I'd recommend it for anyway this is Scottish BK signing out hope you enjoyed the commentary don't forget that if you subscribe rate and comment on this video telling me that what a, a, Di a Diablo code that you'd like like if you'd like a Diablo uh, guest pass or maybe the Diablo 2 um, code with the um, expansion pack just comment on this video tell me what you want you'll be randomly selected and it is a giveaway so don't forget subscribe rate or like and comment and you could be a winner anyway thanks for watching this guys PK sign out hope you enjoy the commentary bye